in this lecture we are going to derive the relation between current density and over voltage for that i am considering the anodic polarization alone which can reduce the complication in the figure and also in the derivation when whenever we have ia greater than ic we have a net current flow which is ia minus ic equal to the applied current which is the over voltage it is surely uh, eta a don't get confused it is eta a so it is the uh, anodic polarization but as we are dealing with only this particular situation i am taking it as the eta now we should note that out of this eta how much would be required to change the barrier in the anodic side or the inner helmholtz player plane and how much would be required to change the activation barrier in the cathodic side that is ohp in order to know this we have to understand a particular concept of symmetry factor alpha a detailed concept of this symmetry factor would be discussed in the coming lecture of electrode process kinetics of electrode process here we have to understand this much that we are dividing the total over voltage equally to both the anodic part and the cathodic part that is we are assuming that the symmetry factor alpha equal to 0.5 or 50 percentage that is alpha plus 1 minus alpha will be the 100 percentage then one more thing for you is that the over voltage is equivalent to the potential therefore the change in free energy associated with the potential can be obtained by the familiar equation delta g equal to nfe and the place of e we can substitute the over voltage since it is the potential in volt if n f eta is the total over voltage for the particular reaction total over voltage the cathodic side and anodic side deviation and we are taking the total out of that alpha n f eta alpha n f eta it can it may be marked here but for getting it more closer i am marked it the this side that is this change i am noting it as alpha n of eta when you read from this side you can get it more clear alpha n of eta the change in um, deviation of change in free energy due to this polarization from the equilibrium factor equilibrium free energy and similarly we can have the delta gc the shift from the equilibrium value can be 1 minus alpha into eta sorry n f eta so from the previous equation that is due to anodic polar due to anodic polarization the exchange current density uh, changes as as since ia uh, will not be equal to uh, and the equivalency of since the equivalency of ie and ic is lost and ic becomes a prime e raised to minus delta gc by rt and ia becomes a, a prime e raised to minus delta ga by rt here what is the delta ga change in free energy in the anodic side it is delta g star minus alpha nf eta 
and the delta g c is delta g star plus that is change in free energy for the cathodic process cathodic side increases by this factor and anodic side it is decreases by this factor since the change in free energy decreased the current increases and then we get the new ia e raised to in place of delta g star we can have this uh, new equation for delta g a and here for delta g c then we are separating it just e raised to minus delta g star by r t into e raised to alpha n f you know by just by mathematics and as you all know a prime e raised to minus delta g by r t is the current exchange current density and i am substituting that part with exchange current density then the equation for i a and i c becomes these two so the applied current density or the over voltage becomes i a minus i c equal to i zero in e raised to alpha n of eta by r t minus e raised to minus of one minus alpha n f eta by r t. Then, if eta is very large positive value, then the anodic part will predominate, so that I applied can be. Written as I zero into e raised to alpha n f. I am giving eta a in part of over voltage. So because the anodic part is predominant, it is leading very much, so that cathodic part can be can avoid it. Therefore, ln I a by I zero equal to this much, and from this eta a can be written as. Two point three zero three R T by alpha n f log I A by I zero, and I am putting this constant as beta A, which is a constant, where it then eta A becomes beta A log I A by I zero, and it can Right, this way, and you can have from this equation that beta a is a constant, I zero also at the equilibrium value is a constant. So this can be changed to a constant value. So the equation becomes eta a equal to beta a log I a plus c. Similarly, if the R potential, we are getting a large negative value, which means The cathodic the polarization predominate, and we will get the equation like this. And from this, this in the same way we can consolidate the equation as eta c, beta c log i c plus c. Here the difference is that the beta a, which is two point three zero three R T by alpha n f, is positive value, and if we Put draw a graph between over voltage and the current density. We will get a positive slope as beta a, and in here beta c is minus two point three zero three R T by one minus alpha into N F, and the same graph we will get beta c as a negative slope. These equations are known as Tuffel equations. Then we are going to Tuffel plot. That is, if we are plotting the Tuffel equation, the plot like will be like this. This plot that is, I am taking eta versus log current density, over voltage versus current density. And in the middle part, I am taking eta as zero. As the time passes, 
in the positive side we are having anodic uh, over voltage we know it as it give a positive slope and in the cathodic part uh, we are having a negative slope that is if uh, the polarization is in the cathodic direction surely it have becomes negative and we will have this type of a plot and if we draw a tangent it will cross over the point where ia equal to ic and which will give log i0 the log i0 value this is a very important plot and from this plot we can have that we can get the exchange current density and generally we can say that the tafel equation is eta equal to beta log i plus c for anodic polarization beta is the general equation beta will be uh, if beta is positive we should aware that it is due to anodic polarization and if beta is getting as negative value we must get an idea that the polarization is by cathodic increase in the rate of cathodic process or it is by cathodic polarization this is the correlation between over voltage and current density and it's a very important equation